Well, obviously, Brownie, the result disappointing. How do you sum up the four days? Yeah, disappointing, I think. Um, obviously, we had a couple of things go our way, but I think we're a little bit disappointed with today. I felt we could have we could have held out for the draw. Um, we've got a good good batting lineup, and everyone's gutted in there um, not to hold out. It's been tough, you know. Obviously, going down a Seema probably almost put our chance of winning the game, you know, really at jeopardy. But you know, we definitely feel like we could have saved the game today. Um, so obviously, to lose wickets this morning was really frustrating. And obviously, um, you seem behind in the game in the first innings, and then um, you came into bat and got something back into it. So, um, I guess more disappointing again from that point to uh, again get behind second time round. Yeah, well, we know we, we bat deep. I mean, to have uh, Joffre coming in at, at number 11, you know, the guy's got the potential to be a genuine all rounder. So, we know that we can bat deep. We knew that we could get runs down the order. Um, so, it's nice to be able to get back in the game. But, yeah, I, I mean, when your, your champion bowler obviously goes down with an injury, it, it does. It does hurt your chances. The guys obviously had to bowl, you know, a huge workload, and what on day three was a pretty flat wicket. So, you know, you've got to feel for the bowlers in that instance. But as I say, we, we would have liked to have sort of seen the game out today. Obviously, Joffre's form a plus point, and while you won't take much from it, your form you looked in great nick out there. Yeah, it felt good. I, I think I think Joffre is one of the best young cricketers in the country, um, if not the best. And you know, he certainly shown the first two two days of this this week what he's about. Um, fantastic bowler, very heavy. It's the wicket, um, was got kind of skills beyond his ears really, and he can bat as well. So, yeah, it was a fantastic effort from him to, to haul us back into the game. And um, yes, yeah, it's a shame. I think we, you know, we took a backward step in the, in the last two days of the game, which is a real shame. And obviously not easy because starting against Kent, uh, who are clearly going to be one of the top sides in the division, and uh, later on in the week go to Trent Bridge who are likewise clearly going to be there at the end of the season. So not an easy start, and uh, I guess time to sort of try and prepare for that now. Yeah, absolutely. And Kent, all credit to them. I thought they were fantastic this week. The bowlers didn't go away. Um, you know, all four of them really, really whacked the wicket um, for long periods of time. Uh, they're a good side. They've, they've been an improving side and they played well against us last year. So we knew that if we could get out of this game with a draw today, after after obviously not being on the front foot, that would have been nice. Um, we can't take a backward step. We got up to Trent Bridge against a good side. We have to go at them. We have to be positive. Um, we have to stand toe to toe with a very good side up there, knowing that you know the fixture list will be easier at the back end of the season but yeah I think it's so important that we we get in the battle up at Trent Bridge. Wish you the best of luck there. Cheers thank you.